This is Reality Rap. Let's get into this week's season premieres of Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars and My Life is a Telenovela. I like saying that. Let's meet our new couples for this season of Marriage Boot Camp. We have Amber and Jim, AKA the real hot messes of New Jersey. They're like one season wonders, so this is like their chance to redeem themselves, but Jim seems like an asshole. We have Kiki and Michael, better known as R&B Disharmony. Now y'all know Kiki Wyatt from R&B Divas. Y'all know she's bad shit crazy. Her husband is a little, uh, what's the word? She called him a he bitch or a man bitch. Is that what it's called? Margo and America, love and hip hop. We met Margo on television when she was the wife of this guy named Nico who made a sex tape with Mimi Foss. Now she just showed up here with an androgynous model who I thought was a man at first, but it's actually a woman. It's weird. I don't think Margo read her new lesbian manual. Jane and Tanner, never heard of them. Fool's Paradise. They're both in a bachelor and a bachelorette and look, they got a lot of issues. Karen and Storm. Karen's one of my favorites from Mob Wives. You know I love a big solid man, so Karen, kudos for that girl. But no shade, I don't want to see y'all argue because this is like a WWE match waiting to happen. Wait a minute. New season, new host, who this? What happened to Jim and Elizabeth? When you see Perez Hilton on the screen, you know he's been a dish to see. And he did nothing but do that. If anyone ends up at the bottom of the lake, check with my favorite Mob Wife, Karen Gravano. My favorite R&B diva, Kiki Wyatt and her man bitch, have enlisted in boot camp as well. Our girl just told us back, and as I always tell you guys, I'm not in a relationship, so I can't judge these couples, but there's someone who can. Judge told her from divorce court. And a shocker, she had a secret person waiting to be exposed because somebody was not being honest in their relationship. The problem that you think you have may not be the problem that you really have. And I want you to start thinking about the larger picture. Will the surprise witness please come forward? Oh my God. I gagged. It was Nico. Sidebar, did y'all see Nico's arms? Get your margaritas, it is time for my life as a telenovela. We're gonna be Adriana, and then we got our villain of the show, Miss Sissy. Her gay BFF happens to be Enrique. My favorite so far of this season is gonna be Raquel. One of my favorites is Liliana, who is Raquel's best friend. She's so funny, she's so over the top. She's definitely the comic relief. So Sissy and Enrico meet up to discuss Raquel. That she's back in town. She was in jail for five years. They're going off to the same road that Sissy wants. And Sissy's gonna stop at nothing to make sure that Raquel does not get this wrong. You could not pretend you're Virgin Mary when you're not. Tell people what you suffered. Yes, I killed somebody, so what? For character preparation, she's got it down. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who was with me at the casting at Telemundo? Maria Raquel. Now we are gonna start talking. I will bring you the exclusive. Ooh, ay, ay, ay. So once the producers call Raquel and tell her that she's gotten the job as Rebecca in the new telenovela, so Sissy is not having it. Raquel just arrived in Miami and she already has taken a role away from me. How does it feel to come back to prison again, like being behind bars? I guess that you're kind of uh, jealous about this. No. I'm sorry if you didn't get this role. I have a lot of stuff going on, so I'm like, what? That's what I thought, girl. You got nothing. I would've walked off on her ass, too. Girl, don't talk to me like that. You just jealous and sour and jaded because you didn't get the part. Make sure you tune in every Friday for Marriage Boot Camp and My Life is a Telenovela. And as the season goes on, we'll be answering all your questions, all your tweets. Make sure you use the hashtag Marriage Boot Camp and my life is a telenovela.